So what we do here is we bring up script editor and we want to tell it to launch our default web browser and open a few of our favorite websites. So we say open location google.com open location computertalkblog.blogspot.com open location youtube.com and then we want to tell it while we're here to open another application that we use frequently so we say tell application um, colloquy activate Intel, and then we compile that, and it compiles properly, and then we want to save it as an application, and say, uh, app launcher. Now, all we have to do is invoke Spotlight, and say, app launcher. And that runs. And it opens up those three pages in Safari like I told it to. And it opens up Colloquy like I told it to. There's the blog, there's Google, there's YouTube, and that's it. And that is yet another way of how to easily launch applications in uh, Mac OS X. Is it either Tiger or Leopard? Uh, I'm not sure about prior versions because I never used them, but I know that it works on those two, and it's it's the easiest and most efficient way of, of launching applications and, and getting them to do what you want them to do even after they launch. Like uh, Other things that I could do with this, like I could say, I could tell the mail application to launch, and then I could, I could say, uh, uh, I could tell it to look for my, look for new mail in all my inboxes, and, or I could uh, tell it to compose a new mail message to a certain contact that I want that I want it to do, and, and then I could just, you know, run that script from the Spotlight menu, and it would and it would do it automatically. It's, it's very easy and very efficient.